Hello, this is the Journey Approachable Sudoku for the 19th of March 2024. It is Greater Sudoku by Clover featuring another use of these little digits in the little white dots. So yeah, let's take a look at the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so place the digits 1 to 9 in every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box. If two digits are separated by a white dot, the number in the dot tells you the greater of the two digits. Right, so... For example, if those two digits uh, have a 3 in them, 3 in the middle, then the greater of those digits will be a 3. So something like this would be valid. But something like this would be incorrect. So yeah. Alright, those are the rules. That's it. With that, let us just begin solving. Uh, we can definitely start with the ones that are immediately touching cells. Like this just means that there has to be a 3. Uh, and in fact... Yeah, actually we can say that there's a there must be you know, whenever a dot separates two digits, that digit must appear in one of those two cells beside it. So it even gives us more information as to say that there is a three in one of those cells, therefore it has to be here, because it can't be there. There's a three in one of those cells which has to be here because it can't be there. And we can repeat that for every other set over here, I think. Seven means this has to be a seven, because it must be greater. Meaning that there must be a seven here, which has to be here. Uh and we can't repeat that, but you know, close enough. Right, this must be a 9, and therefore there must be a 9 in one of those cells which must be there. There must be a 9 in one of those cells which must be there. This must be 5, 5 goes here as a result. This must be 7, which goes here and therefore here. This must be 3, which means 3 goes here. This 4 means that must be 5, so 5 goes here, which means 5 goes there. This must be 9, therefore 9 goes here. So lots of digits already, but I think we can do even better than that. That digit will be less than 3, because it is not 3, but it can't be 1, so it must be 2. Similarly, here, um, this must be less than 1, so it must be, um, less than 3, sorry, but it can't be 1, so it must be 2. And in fact, we can finish the entire box over here with the exact same logic. This must be less than 5, but it can't be anywhere from 1 to 3, so it must be 4. This has to be less than 7, but can't be anywhere from 1 to 5, so it must be 6, and therefore that's an 8. Uh, well, by Sudoku, but by also the same logic where this must be less than 9, but can't be anywhere from 1 to 7. So there you go. Uh, that's a very interesting logic to begin. Uh, can we do anything else here? Like this digit? Well, this digit is less than 3, but can't be 1, so it's 2. That digit therefore must be a 1, because it's less than 3 and not 2, so it's a 1. Uh, we could probably place a bunch of digits down here, like this has to be 1, 4, or 8. By Sudoku, those cells can't be 1, so 1 goes up there, which works. 4, 8 here, this must be less than 7, so it can't be 8, it's a 4. Now those digits have to be 2, 5, and 9. And 5 can't be in those cells by the 5s over here, so 5 must be there. Cool. Could probably do even more though. Yeah, we can do way, way more with this. Like those digits have to be 2, 3, uh, sorry, 2, 4, 5. This can't be 2 or 5, so that's a 4. This forms a 2, 5 pair over here. Uh, what else do we have? Those three digits? Oh no, those are two digits, sorry. This has to be 4 and 8, but 4 can't be there, so that's 8. 4 goes here. This is a triple, which consists of 7, 8, and 9. 7 can't be in those cells, so 7 goes here. This means that can't be 8, so that's 9. 8 goes here. 9 resolves this 2, 9 pair. Cool, and we're basically... I feel like we're doing this way faster than we should be doing. But alright, what is that? That's a 2. That is a 3, 7, which we can resolve. Uh, oh, 3 in the corner. Nice. This has to be a 6... 1, 6, sorry, and that is resolvable. It also works because 6 is less than 7. Now those digits are 8, 4. And because this is less than 7, it must be a 4. Now that forms another pair here consisting of, I believe, 6 and 8. And this 6 resolves that. Now here we have another pair, which have to be 2 and 8. And very... Oh, yeah, that this can't be 8 because it must be less than 5. So 8 must go here. This forms a triple, which is consisting of 2, 4, and 7. 2 and 7 mean that must be 4. There's a 2, 7 pair, which we can resolve with this 7 up here. This 2 resolves is 2, 5 there. Nice. This has to be 4 and... 
Oh, this is just a 4, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Now those digits have to be 5 and 9. Yep, we can do that. Uh, this is 1, 7. Nice. And there we have 2, 6 and 8. 2, 8 means that must be 6. Uh, 2 here is also remaining 2, 8 pair. And we're almost done. Uh, those digits are just 3 and 4, I think. 3 resolves that. And those last 3 digits would be 1, 8, and 9. And yeah, we can just place yeah. 8 goes here. This 1 means this is a 9. And therefore, 1 over here solves the puzzle in 4 minutes and 52 seconds. Wow. I think this is the first I've ever solved a puzzle that isn't a classic Sudoku. So yeah, that's really cool. Have I liked it? Yes, I did like it. I have somehow very short-term memory. Alright, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.